Hey, this is Mads from Sun and Swords. Uh, I've had a lot of people on my blog and at the LARP games I play at asking me about my breastplate, so I just thought I would put together a video just clearing up uh, some of those questions and telling you a little bit more about where I got it from and how it's lasted. Armor for women has often been a pain point because we kind of have two main options. Either uh, wear men's armor, which even if you can get it to fit well across the chest and waist, uh, it's often too narrow on the hips, so you get this really bad chafing and bruising. Uh, and then the other extreme is kind of fantasy style uh, boob plate or chainmail bikinis, stuff like that, uh, which even if it looks great, isn't really very practical, especially if you're playing in a battle game. So the breastplate I use is a Stagild Demi Curis. I'll put a link down in the bottom. Uh, if you're interested in taking a look. It cost me probably around a hundred Australian dollars and so far as I can remember I bought it over a year ago but shipping and service was absolutely fantastic. Uh, I kind of just ordered it on a whim. I wasn't really looking for a new breastplate but I saw it and I thought oh, I'm just gonna give this a go um, and then you know a few weeks later it just kind of showed up uh, and I've been wearing it every every week since. So I play a fairly intense battle game uh, it's every Friday night for about three to four hours, so my armor gets fairly heavy use. Uh, I'm not, it's not just for the sake of role play. Uh, I am, I'm pretty heavy into the combat. So the breastplate itself is, I wouldn't say, call it safe for anything other than LARP combat. It is 18 gauge, um, and I mean, you can probably even see it from here, but it's got uh, some dents in it from uh, hitting other people's armor. Uh, so if you're looking for something for SCA or anything heavier, it's probably not a good choice. However, uh, I just noticed that Stahlgeld is selling a 16 gauge version of it. Uh, so a little bit more expensive, but um, if you need it for that purpose, go for it. Well, I have seen men wearing this breastplate. In my opinion, it's really, really great for women. Uh, because you're, you're not really encountering that problem of it being nice and fitted in the chest and then way too tight on the hips. Uh, instead, you're getting all this great protection against, you know, arrows and pole arms and stuff like that while maintaining an awesome range of motion. Uh, I, I personally like to fight with halberds and pikes, and I've found that it doesn't hold me back nearly as much as a full breastplate, even with a coat of plates underneath. One of the main questions I get with it is uh, regarding how fitted it is and, you know, does it, does it really move around on you? And I've found that, uh, well it does come in a couple of different sizes, I, I think I purchased the smallest size um, and I don't wear it as tight as it goes, so it, it, can, it can go tighter, it can also go uh, looser, and then again you can always move up a size. So I think that there's probably a size of it for anyone. I've been able to get it to the point where I can wear it without a gambeson quite easily, I don't get any bruising from it. Uh, and, I mean, if, if I look back at my photos, I will admit that it does look better with kind of a gambeson underneath, uh, just because it pads it out a little bit more, and if you don't wear a gambeson, you will get a little bit, I mean, if we, if we look at this one, there is a little bit of a gap underneath, uh, but it's, it's not that bad, and more, as I as stated, more importantly, it's not actually going to injure you if you wear it without padding. Uh, so far as actually altering the breastplate when I got it, uh, I pretty much didn't change anything. I think I just punched a few uh, new holes in the straps and that was it. And it's lasted pretty well. I mean, I haven't been kind to it. Uh, I'm pretty brutal to a lot of my gear. I think it's had two different paint jobs, both of which, you know, have been stripped uh, with paint stripper. As you can tell, I've, I've riveted something else onto it. But so far as rust goes, it holds it off pretty well. You still need to take care of it, as you should uh, with all your armor but it's held up better than some other kind of lower end pieces of armor I've bought. Uh, the straps, I think I've replaced one or two of the straps on it. They definitely need a little bit of conditioning and the quality of the leather isn't, well on mine anyway, uh, isn't perfect. But for the price point, I would say it's quite excellent. So I've added a sun to the front of mine out of brass, but it is originally just plain mild steel. The breastplate kind of consists of three pieces. There is the main large front piece, and then there are two back pieces as well that come together and close it at the center of the back with one buckle. It has two buckles on each side just to get a better fit, 
and the way it's held together uh, up over your shoulders is just with two straps as well. So there isn't actually any metal rubbing against your shoulders. It's quite comfortable. Because of the back plates as well and the way that they overlap, uh, if you're on the slimmer side, it makes it quite easy to get a good tight fit on it. Uh, because I know uh, thinner people often have trouble finding armor that doesn't move around when they run. Another thing I really love about this breastplate is you can go a lot of different ways with how you style it depending on if you want to stick with more historical references or if you want to go more fantasy. Uh, personally, I base mine off of kind of a uh, late 1400s, early 1500s uh, demi curious with brigandine look, but you can also wear it with, it looks really good with a corset underneath it or just with a gambeson. Uh, or chainmail as well looks absolutely fantastic. So there are a lot of different ways you can go. Overall, this is a great piece of armor. I honestly think you'd be quite stressed to find anything of better quality at this price point. It is incredibly comfortable, it looks fantastic, and it's very practical and of great use on the field. So I don't, I don't really think you can beat that. The only reason I'm upgrading is because I'm now looking into getting custom made armor. Uh, otherwise, I'd probably just keep wearing this forever. Thanks for watching, hopefully you found this useful. If you have any more questions about this particular breastplate or just live action roleplay in general, uh, please let me know. You can find me at blog.sunandswords.com. See you next time!